Hey, what's going on? I have a very strong and powerful message for you today, and it is for anyone who wants to be financially stable. And the first thing I want to share with you about that is being financially stable is not the end game. That is not going to be the end of your journey right there. Once you become financially stable, there's a whole another level of things that you got to do and you've got to take care of even beyond financial stability, which I do have an entire video about that. It is called how to be financially stable and beyond. It is actually a free course here on YouTube that you can watch that is fully comprehensive that goes all into financial stability, but it also goes far beyond that and what life looks like after being financially stable. So if you're interested, definitely make sure you go watch that after this video. And also watch the entire playlist of how to be financially stable step by step. And when I say things like being financially stable isn't the end game, I simply mean this. Money comes in phases, and I mean that in several different senses. Like from an income perspective, money's going to come in phases. There's going to be a phase where you're just getting started out. You really don't know what you're doing. You might be a little scared. You might have just moved out of your parents' house. You might be trying to save your first $1,000, your first $5,000, your first $10,000. You may still be trying to figure out, okay, how do I get ahead at work? How do I get that promotion? How am I going to start putting more money in my 401k? When will I be able to start investing for myself? What is this that everybody's talking about? Making money in your sleep. How do I do it? There's different phases of income. There's, you know, making $50,000. Then, you know, there's another phase where you're making $80,000. There's overtime involved sometimes. And then sometimes there's another phase that a lot of people don't really get to, but that's making six figures. And when you make your first $100,000, you might feel really comfortable like you made it. Then everywhere you look, there's always going to be somebody that's doing better or seemingly doing better than you. After $100,000, there could be $120,000, $150,000, $175,000, $200,000. There's so many different phases, but then you're also going to go through a phase where you're trying to save as much as possible, where you're trying to invest as much as possible, where you're trying to get out of debt. If you don't have any pre-existing debt from college or from credit cards, perhaps you your debt would be something like your first house. But no matter what, these are gonna be phases in life you go through when it comes to money. So if you wanna be financially stable, you have to understand that. And you have to understand that a lot of this that I'm talking about right now is perfectly normal and perfectly natural to go through. Like, I know I kinda of went fast with explaining all of that stuff, but that's the things that are gonna be going through your head when you're on your journey to become financially stable because there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in your head you're gonna have so many different priorities at one time where you're like how do i save money but also invest my money but also make sure i'm not in debt make sure i also have enough left over for me get what i'm saying all throughout these things where you're trying to prioritize the finances by itself we're not even we haven't even factored in life yet and friends and significant others and, and things like that we we've just only scratched the surface we're really just talking about money but imagine that and then on top of that you have to add life on top of it where things are going up and down at the job and you know some days the job are great and sometimes you have a bad day at work and sometimes you might go home wondering am I going to have a job tomorrow did I really do that bad like you start to second guess how good you're doing at work and you might even be the type of person that ties your self-worth to how well you do at your job because your job is a thing that pays you your job is a thing that you do pretty much every single day excluding weekend you feel like you should be the best at it but when somebody tells you you dropped the ball somewhere and you feel like you let the wrong person down now the dynamic changes you just got into an argument with your girlfriend you still got to go to work still got to pay your bills you still got to you know pay down debt you might have just broken up your girlfriend or got broken up with or whatever the case is but you still like life does not care sorry and most people will not care about your problems or anything like that but the thing about it is you got to keep your wits about you and continue to be stable as a person because you still have to do the things you have to do to remain financially stable maintain what you've already built for yourself thus far and that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize the worst thing you can do when it comes to being financially stable is give up because other things get quote too difficult or too hard because a lot of the stuff I just said have happened to me where you know when I first got my first ever full-time job and I had just moved out of my parents house I I thought I was on top of the world everything was great I just graduated from college with honors boom straight into a full-time job making a good sixty thousand dollars a year and at the time and for the area I was in that was really good money not to mention all the overtime they threw at me. Oh, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was so happy. Boom. Immediately right after that, breakup. The breakup actually happened on our anniversary. Boom. So 
what I'm saying is sometimes life is going to happen. And then, of course, on top of that, there's going to be other real life things that happen like death in the family or friendships growing apart or you just waking up feeling like crap, not really wanting to go to work. These things are going to happen. But if you want to be financially stable, you have to be stable. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent with not just paying your bills, not just paying down your debt, not just showing up to work. But you have to be consistent when it comes to showing up for yourself, continuing to learn more and add different layers of knowledge onto what you already know about personal finances so you can continue to build up to a place where you need to be to really become financially stable and learn about investment so that once you do have the money for it, put the money in the proper places. You don't have to wait until you have the money to start investing, to start learning about investing. You don't have to wait to be able to pay down your debt completely to learn different methods of paying debt off. So you got to put systems in place no matter what phase is going on, no matter if life is going great or if it's going terrible right now when it comes to how you're feeling emotionally. Sometimes you gotta take your emotions out of it and really think about the future because going through life is gonna be hard for everybody. But what's much harder is going through a hard time in life emotionally, or it doesn't even have to be hard. It could just be something that's not going in your favor right now. Maybe you didn't get a promotion that you wanted to get. Maybe you approached someone and they wanted nothing to do with you. Maybe you've tried to start a business and the business is just not getting any traction. Whatever your case may be, whatever your difficult may look like, you still have to keep going. You still have to be consistent with showing up for yourself, putting money in your savings, doing the right things with your paycheck, not missing a day at work, just continuing to learn. The thing about it is things can go good, things can go bad, things can even get ugly. And I actually want to share a short video with you because I thought it was very profound and a lot of people don't really think about it in this way, but I'm going to show it to you real quick right now. You hot in the kitchen, what? And everything may not work properly. But you still gotta cook. And guess what? People gonna be coming with plates out. And they gotta be fed. They gotta be fed. Whether you wanna go sit down and eat a plate yourself. I realize ain't nobody cook for you. You the chef, dog. Keep cooking. Profound. I actually saw that video a long time ago. I've been wanting to put it in one of my videos for quite a while now, but it's all on you now. Because even if you don't have anybody depending on you or anything like that financially, you're there. So when it comes down to it, you got to take care of yourself. Even if nobody's there to pick you up when you're down or you're not feeling right or you, know, you want to be financially stable, but you feel like there's just always something. There's always a bill popping up. There's always something you're not prepared for. There's always an opportunity that you feel like you're missing missing out on. You haven't quite figured out how to make extra money to be able to then save more money. You haven't really broken your finances down to a science set where you know exactly how much you're making, how much you're spending, how much your expenses are, where you overspend that and make proper adjustments because a bunch of other areas in your life are just like hard to deal with. You still are there. You still got to take care of yourself. You still got to take care of your health. You still got to make sure you're eating right. You still got to make sure staying in shape and care of yourself, taking care of your mind, putting and getting the right information in. And and more than anything, just to be perfectly honest with you, this is more of a video for my younger self. Like if I could make a video for my younger self back in 2017, I would go back in time, tell him to watch this video right now. But there's so many people, not even just young men, there's so many people in general that need to hear this message. And like, I didn't write anything for this video. I'm just going off the cuff because I feel like what I'm saying right now is coming straight from the heart and from the soul. And I just want you to hear it because because if you knew that just being consistent and just staying there, whether it's rain or shine, a lot of times you will come out on top. Because there were so many times where I was going through so much at work and I was working seven days a week, 12 hour days. Every single day I fantasized about quitting. I thought about walking out the back door and everything. I planned exactly how I would do it several times over. And a few times I almost did do it. Almost went all the way through with it. But I didn't end up doing it. I stayed the course. I went through the struggle. I grinded it through it. I was mistreated, overworked, way underpaid, but I had a plan to save $20,000 and 
I don't know why, but that was just a number that was in my head. It happened to be the perfect amount of money to do what I wanted to do. But anyway, I ended up having another job offer across the country. Of course, they did pay me a relocation bonus to come out here because I'm in a different state now. I'm in Nevada now. I'm from North Carolina. So I was in North Carolina at the time, but obviously out of pocket, I would have had to spend something to come all the way out here, ship my car over here, ship furniture over here and all of that good stuff because I did not want to start from scratch. But anyway, through all of that, even though I had moved out of my parents' house and still had bills to pay and things, eventually I figured things out. I figured out how to save money. I figured out how to automate my savings, figured out how to lessen my expenses, figured out how to invest. Over the course of time, I was able to build my net worth well into the six figures in under a decade. And at this time, it's been about eight years. Well, more realistically, it's been like seven years and some change. So imagine where I'll be when it has been a full decade from the time that I'm talking about right now. A lot of things can change, but you have to stay the course. And the reason I'm saying this is because you have to do things like go to work every day, show up for yourself, be consistent. Like you're not showing up necessarily for anyone else other than yourself. Think about it. You go to work so you can get paid and provide for yourself, for your family and things like that. So if you give your job or someone at your job the power to piss you off so much that you just don't show up and then start losing out on money and then your reputation starts to go down like it's the whole thing then you lose your opportunity to save more money invest more money pay off debt and your goals start to get behind because of a temporary emotion thing is it doesn't take a lot of money to become financially stable so i made that whole video literally titled what i just said it doesn't take much like everybody sees financially stable people and they say man they have ten thousand dollars in demand they have oh, $50,000 in their investments. Wow, they're able to invest $1,500 a month. How do they get to do that? How do they get to that? Look, you're looking at the big amounts in a short amount of time. You see that 10,000, like they just put that 10,000 in today. The thing is, it's about the little incremental things you do over a long period of time. If you save 500 to a thousand dollars a month, you'll get to 10,000 in under two years. You know what I'm saying? It takes a little bit over the long term and not everybody's able to save 500 to 1,000, but maybe you can do 250, maybe you can do 400. And once you multiply that by the 12 months that we have in a year, over three, four, five years, you're gonna get to your goal. It's just a matter of when. There is no if. If you set a goal and you have steady income and you have consistent habits, because consistency is the key to excellence and success, especially when it comes to finances and compounding interest and, and making investments grow, yeah, for sure you are going to hit your goal but instead of just being someone sitting around wishful thinking and, and wishing that they were financially stable and wanting to be financially stable and saying man i want to be like you one day you got to actually do the thing and once you do become financially stable i want you to invest absolutely as much as possible as much as you possibly can once you have the proper education and you've learned enough about investing you feel comfortable as much as you can because i promise you your money will compound so much quicker than you think it will and i wish i would have started earlier because if i did it would be nasty and yes i know investments fluctuate things rise and fall look check this out the stock market is rigged to be up most of the time look throughout history look through every depression look at how every bounce back looked in the stock market i'm not saying to invest blindly into any company i'm saying do your research you can even watch my investment videos that absolutely nobody watches for some reason but i give some good information on those and that alone teaches you quite a bit about investing for free and I have a book and within my book, I break down some investing principles and strategies as well. But then on top of that, there's so much free information about investing, a lot of good free investment information. Like you've got to find a way to make money in your sleep. That's pretty much what I'm saying. So even if you don't invest in stocks, you find something to invest in that gives you a return on money. My number one just happens to be stocks because it has paid me more than anything you can imagine. It's paid me more than YouTube, my book and my online coaching combined throughout their entirety passively, like in my sleep. I put money in, money comes out. So that's just what I'm saying, but to anyone who's watching this and wants to be financially stable, once you get to a point where you're able to consistently contribute money into something and let it grow, that is what I would say will make your net worth grow the most. That's how the rich get richer, the wealthy get wealthier, because they have their money on autopilot and they have money going into these accounts automatically, and it's going into which investments they tell it to go to, 
and it's just making the money. There's not too many feelings in the world more special than making passive income or making money in your sleep. So through it all, through all the struggle that I had been through at a young age and through all the development and through all the things that I had to learn while I was also trying to get my finances together and figure out how to, you know, function as an adult, it all paid off because I stayed consistent. I was tough. I weathered that storm. I kept going. And now I'm able to help other people succeed and build their net worths into the six figures and become financially stable and invest and save and pay off debt and things like that. And it's a very humbling yet empowering thing. So no matter how hot it got, no matter how intense things got, I came out on top. And this message is for you because whatever is going on in your world, you're going to come out on top. You just have to keep going. You can't stop. Even if that seems like the better and easier thing to do, do not do that. Keep going, keep learning. And then once you get to where you want to get to, don't stop. There is no, I've made it. After you've made it to where you initially wanted to make, it's time to set a new goal. Have a goal to invest $50,000 or something after you've you know hit that point. And then once you hit 50,000, aim for 100,000 and just keep going. And you would be surprised and amazed at how much your money grows and how much freedom and options you will have just by doing those decisions. If you made it this far in the video, I want you to type the word invest in the comments. But anyway, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.